How you doing guys? Welcome to the wonderful world of food. Today we're going to be trying all the delicious Pixar foods of Pixar Fest. So we want you guys to join us. So here we go guys. Welcome to the wonderful world of food. Join us today as we explore the many Pixar treats. If you enjoy these Disney adventures, don't forget to leave a big like. Wow. <laughs> this is your berry funnel cake with blueberries, strawberries, whipped cream, a little bit of Oreos right on top, and some gold pixie dust. Yummy. Now, there are no seats, so I have to stand up. There's a couple people who are just sitting at a table and not eating, but I don't think I need a table. Here we go. Ah! Oh! Oh! How do you even eat this? It's so thick. That's good. <laughs> I tried to eat this, put it in my mouth, and I just, I couldn't but all these strawberries uh, and the berries. I love it, it's fantastic. Well, I'll be back for this again. Oh, definitely my friends. And if you guys wanna show up yourself, right now you can get at the Stage Door Cafe for the Pixar Fest, so hurry up. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Don't drop it, you don't. I always drop the Coco Churro. <laughs> the Coco Churro. Mm, it smells good. So this is your Coco Churro with salted caramel cinnamon, and then a spice Mexican dipping chocolate. Yummy. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it's like a moosey mousse. Looks good. This is actually really good. It reminds me a lot of the Abuelita's chocolate. It's really, really rich and delicious. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, I'm a chocolate lover forever. Oh, it's good. For this one, guys. If you are a stranger, just say hi to stranger. We will soon be friends that way. Guys, this is the Woody Boots. Look, it even says Andy right in the bottom. See? It's Andy. Now, inside this little delicious treat, it's gonna be your vanilla ice cream and root beer. So, your root beer float. Mmm, let's give it a try. Now that, guys, is refreshing on this hot, hot day. There's a snake in my boot. Is that what he says? It sure is. But instead of a snake, there's ice cream in my boot. See? <gasps> so good. Well, looks like you're enjoying your boot. I sure am. <laughs> Next treat, guys. Here we go. Oh, you forgot your frosting. Oh. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so here's a carrot cake churro, and it comes with a raisin cream cheese carrot cake filling. Mmm, look at that. The pieces of carrots and their raisins. Anyways, let's give this a duck. Now this doesn't really taste like a carrot cake to me, but it is really good. It actually tastes more of like a like a regular churro, but with just icing. I'm a little disappointed, but it's okay. I still like it. It's enjoyable. All right. Now we're at the Rancho Los Zocalo. I wonder what they have here, Janelle. Mm -hmm. I wonder too. I wonder, wonder. Rancho del Zocalo, my lady. Rancho del Zocalo. Don't do it. Oh, she's a keeper. You can never go wrong with Cherry Coke. We take Miguel with us too. Oh my god. All right. So right now at the Rancho del Zocalo, you can get yourself this. Look at that beast. Now this is the Al Pastor Huarache. And as you can see, you got some masa dough and that's fried. You also have some refried beans, some delicious pastor, and I can't wait to get into that, my friends. And you got some queso fresco, some guacamole, and of course you got lettuce and cilantro. But you can't really taste this delicious dish without uh, some lime. All right. All right.
try. It's kind of a big bite, but I think I can do it. Oh. Oh, that's some delicious pastora. It's tender, soft, it's juicy. But I get a little bit of hint of pineapple. It might be because what I just found out is there's some pineapple in here. I think it's like a pineapple slaw. And I actually like this dish. This is delicious. So if you're in the mood for some Mexican food here at Disneyland, right now, Pixar Fest brings you the Huarache al Pastor. Mm, delicious. My turn. Mm, that masa has a good crunch. It's very flavorful. So good. Mm. So this here is the Miguel Mexican Pot de Creme Parfait. He looks so good. Look at it. <laughs> Ooh. That actually looks really good. It's inside. It's like, um, I can't. Even, I don't know how to describe it. Just cause uh, it's like a, a familiar flavor. Anyways, the inside is a chocolate cake. But the frosting kind of tastes like the Mexican hot chocolate um, brick. Not when it's fully cooked in milk or water, whatever you prefer. But it actually tastes like the actual bolitas brick. Which is really weird, it's really good. Like the Mexican hot chocolate right here. Let's give Miguel a bite here. He's melting off in my hand. This is your basic white chocolate, but that's fine with me. Chocolate is chocolate. But this, my friends, is delicious. Now, this delicious parfait is inspired by the Pixar movie, Coco. Even though the El Pastor Huarache was a little pricey, I think it was quite filling. Believe it or not, we both shared that plate, and I'm feeling a little full. <laughs> uh, me too, a little yeah, bit. A little. We're back at the Plaza Inn. <laughs> <laughs> did it call to us? It did call to us. There she is. There she is. Come here, little guy. Looks good. <laughs> so look at this cute little Nemo cup. Look, and he likes a blue. Ah. There you go. There's a mouse in the food. You get it? <laughs> His brains! <laughs> yeah. So this here is your lemon raspberry cake with the cool Pixar ball right on top. So I'm guessing that's chocolate or it might be a gumball. Who knows? Let's give it a try. All three colors. Here you go. Definitely, definitely more towards the raspberry cake side, but this cake is so good. Brings a Pixar animator out of me. Oh my goodness gracious. So colorful too. So colorful. I'm gonna take a bite of this Pixar ball here. So that was just your hollow ball, like half cup ball chocolates, but it's still pretty good. I thought it was a gumball for some reason, because it looked like a gumball. That would've been cool. That would've been cool, but that's okay. It was still good. It's just a white chocolate. Mm. So soft, I love this. So the last episode we filmed, we came here to the Aliens Pizza Planet. It didn't really do much, but now we're back and look. <laughs> they changed things around, my friends. Fancy, you know? <laughs> nice. Pretty <laughs> fancy here. So this little guy is a green alien macaron. Isn't that looks so cute? I don't want to eat him. I want to just want to keep Instagramming him. But it's okay. I have to eat him at some point. Here we go. Ooh. So far, this is probably my favorite macaron. It's so good. I just want to eat more and more and more. Look at this, guys. This is the Alien Blackberry Lime Parfait. And I think I'm gonna take a bite, and by the looks of it, 
looks like a tasty treat, but let's try it out. Oh, -hoo -hoo. sorry, Mr. Alien. Oh, and that looks like chocolate. All right. That's a lot of frosting. <laughs> mm. The top layer is full frosting, but look on the inside. It's blue, and you got some raspberry filling up here. That is pretty good. It, it tastes a lot like blueberry. And the raspberries are a nice touch. The frosting though, I think it's a little too much. Look at how much frosting you get. I think I'm gonna have a sugar crash today. <laughs> I'm gonna be super hyperactive today. That's what's gonna happen. We got a lot of sweets right now, a lot of treats. And this one here, look at that. It's very intergalactic looking. Mmm. And very sweet. That's actually not bad. Very cool. I think what's gonna happen though is my teeth is gonna start turning blue eventually. But, I mean, just having a blue mouth is part of being an alien, right? At the alien pizza planet? I mean, come on. I'm taking an eyeball. That's that. Slitting, you know. What is it? This is white chocolate. Ah. Mm -hmm. So now they have slushy machines inside the pizza planet. So you have your sour apple, or you can get strawberry, or you can be fancy like me and get both in one cup. Now this little guy here, he's holding on by the claw. There you go. And he's $5.99. It's a little bit extra, but it's okay. He's well worth it, let me tell you. Let's give this a try. Ooh, that's so good. <laughs> this is your typical Slurpee, I'm guessing, right? It's Slurpee, but it kind of tastes like a, since I have strawberry in here, it kind of tastes like a strawberry sour apple slush. <laughs> actually really good. You want to try it? Sure. It tastes like a strawberry Jolly Rancher. This is probably a really fun treat during the summer when it's really hot. Right now it's kind of cool, so I'm not getting the full effect of an icy. But I'm sure in the summer, this is going to be a very popular treat. Oh yeah. Look at you, Jenna. Aren't you styling today? <laughs> He's <laughs> hanging off my jacket. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Whoa, I can smell it from here. Oh, he <laughs> smells like lots of the beer. More so than the Red Rose uh, churro? Yeah, it smells like extra, extra, extra strawberry. Dang. Smells of strawberries. <laughs> so this one here is inspired obviously by lots of hugging bear. Mmm, I'm excited to try them out. <gasps> so, so good. Look at the powdery, the color, everybody. Isn't that beautiful? It's actually really good. It doesn't taste like the carrot cake. The carrot cake kind of tastes like the regular churro. This one actually has some flavor to it. It's took like a big cook of strawberries. Ooh. I love it. It's time to go to California Adventure. So let's go. Look at this guys, now this is a very colorful treat. This is a chilled noodle salad and you can get this here at the Lucky's Fortune Cookery. All right, so we got some Thai basil, some cucumbers, some crushed peanuts on the noodles. And right here we got some carrots and some daikon. So let's get inside and if you look at the sauce, that's a sweet and spicy vinaigrette. So from what I hear is if you add this on the noodles, they change to a purple color. Let's find out if that is true. Let's find out. Let's try this magic. Now, I heard that you have to mix a little bit to make them purple. They're getting clearer, if anything. I didn't see it turn purple. It looks more clear to me now than it did before. So instead of looking blue, now they look clear. I guess you could say they're kind of purple. Eh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> let's add some carrots on top. All right, let's mix in some carrots and some daikon. All right, let's try this out. So because of the vinaigrette, I'm getting a lot of sweetness. And it kind of tastes like japchae. It's very potato starchy, and you get a crunch from the peanuts. Is it worth $10.49? Absolutely not. I say go to some other part of the park and get something else. And I wasn't really impressed with the whole noodle changing color thing. I mean, that was the whole pull of this dish is that it changes colors on you, but it looks clear. It didn't really change colors. So I'm a little disappointed about that. And the food is, and it tastes okay, it's good, 
but I feel for 1049 you could get something better. Um, I'll say pass on this. Find something else. And so for 5.99 you get yourself one of these little guys. So it's the Pixar lamb with the ball right on the bottom. Isn't that cute? Clipped on so you can just take this off right here. Ah. There you go, you can put that away. You can clip it just like how I'm clipping it. Right there. <laughs> See, so it's a keychain now. It could be a backpack chain or anything like that. Take these little things out. There you go. Now I'm ready. I'm ready to add more to my collection. Like you have toy car stories, awesome. you have Monster Chunks Incorporated, you have Fueling Nemo, and then you have the Incredible Cars. Let's try something new here Yay. at the Cozy Cone. Mm. Oh, it smells of like Oh, careful. <laughs> So this here is your habanero meatball cone with spicy habanero sauce and cheesy crisp. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Let's give it a try. Oh yes. Ooh. Ooh. So the meatball is a very savory turkey, very juicy, very tender, so good. Um, it's not spicy at all. I would think it would be spicy because it is habanero, but not at all. It's actually really, really good. And I forgot to mention one thing. Yeah, it, should, it has spiral noodles right on the bottom of it. So. Oh, it's so good. It's like perfect for perfection. It's like having a spicy spaghetti pasta right in here. It's so delicious. Let's try this. It's like a lasagna. Probably gonna have to say this is my favorite cone. This is amazing. And noodles inside. Oh. I'm taking this from you, Janelle. It's mine. How are you doing? <laughs> Stop you it. You having fun? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's enjoying that cone a little too much. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Look, they got Mike Wazowski. They got Sully. And then we also even have a preview of Pixar Pier coming up. Oh. Knickknacks, huh? Knickknacks, putty wax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a new Pixar store. Look at this. I want this. It's so cute. Look at Woody, Jesse, and Buzz. I got those over here. Look. Wow. The store is Pixar Jam Pack. <laughs> I fit in kids' clothes. <laughs> See? It says, I've got an eye on you. It's a Mr. Potato Head mug. He's so cute. He's laughing at your morning jokes. Yes, yeah, With a cup of joe. He smells like a strawberry churro. <laughs> Want to be a Pixar pal? I sure do. <laughs> so we came to the Paradise Garden Grill because we wanted to buy the Mexican hot chocolate and it comes in a cocoa ceramic like cup and they sold out. They've been sold out pretty much everywhere. I know. So didn't get it. But maybe next time we will, right? Maybe next time. Yeah. Next food? I need something spicy in my life right now. Is that the spicy corn dog? Spicy corn dog. Oh. So at the Corn Dog Castle, guys, at Disney's California Adventure, you can get this spicy corn dog, and you can get this right now because of Pixar Fest. Inside, there's a Cajun chicken sausage, and right here we have some dipping sauce. That is some serrano and blackberry sauce. How about we try this? 
scared. I hope it's not too spicy. All right, let's put some sauce on there. All right. Ah. Woo. Guys, this is pretty good. So that's a crunchy shell on the outside. And on the inside, oh man, that sausage is good. Now, it is a little spicy, but again, it's mild. It's not too crazy where it's gonna make you like, I can't do this. And if you wanna try it out, the Corn Dog Castle. That's where you need to go to try this out. Mm. It's spicy, but it's sweet at the same time. It's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, so after going in deeper on this corn dog, look at this. What? Pepper Jack cheese. Cheese, look at that cheese. Oh my God. Whoa. Ah. Uh, uh, that is like the best corn dog I've had. All right, you know, award winner time. Let's go. So this here is your funnel cake fries with sweet condensed milk, whipped cream, and fruity pebbles right on top. Yummy! A treat that actually has fruity pebbles. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Mm. So this is like a childhood dream, guys. It's like a fruity pebble dream. It's so good and delicious. It's a good treat while you're watching Paint the Night. I really enjoyed the Pixar Fest, and I'm pretty sure Buzz Lightyear did too. What did you think, Jadel? I liked it. Yeah. We saw you. We saw you. You flew fly. over the castle, mister. We just want to say we love every single one of you guys. And if you guys haven't joined us here on the wonderful world of food, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to check us out on Instagram, Magic Journeys. And if you want to check us out on Facebook, check out the wonderful world of foodies. We love every single one of you guys. And we'll see you guys here next time. Bye.